Jessie and it's Jessica. So for today's video, we are going to be doing a dessert mukbang. You guys know how usually we do our mukbangs. We do like fast food or Pizza like Hut, yeah, McDonald's like chain store. So today we thought we'd do something a little bit different, something special. So today we're going to be trying out a new dessert shop called Chow Bella, which is located here in Selly Oak. So it's really literally close like to us. two minute walk down yeah. the road from us. We've always seen it, like we've always walked past and seen it, but today we're going in. We're going to try some items and let you guys know what we think because obviously some of you are going to be coming to Birmingham in September or you're already here. So this will be a great opportunity for you guys to see what's out there, see what's in Celio yeah. and stuff. And they're also available on mm. delivery and Uber Eats. So you can so, order it to all your accommodations. And they also do 15% student discounts. Okay, I feel like, you know, good. all of us, we're on a budget <laughs> at the moment. So I think this would be really good. Yeah, a really good option after a night out. Mm -hmm. if you want to get some food during the day. If we like the items and we like the food, you guys should definitely check out Chow Bella. We try to get a variety of, yeah, a little bit of everything to see what we think and we'll let you guys know our opinions. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for... Let's just check. <laughs> 3,400. We're 40, 360, so we're 40 away from 3.5k. Wow. Let's get to the final push and get to 3.5k subscribers. Thank you guys for all your support. Thank you for all the messages on Instagram. If you guys want to support us that bit further, you can also watch the ads that will be throughout the video. But even if you choose not to, you being here is more than enough. If you guys haven't checked out our last video, we did a PLT clothing haul, so we'll link it in the description if you guys want to check it out. Instagram will be linked in the description if you want to follow us there. So make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe, and we hope you enjoy this video. Today is a bit different, so we're actually going to take, take you guys you down there so you guys can see because it's actually a really beautiful store. Yeah. So we're going to like vlog some bits, make it a bit different today. So let's go. Everything smells so good. Like, I'm so excited. So we're gonna take everything out and then we're gonna explain to you everything that we have. Right, look at the, look at the packaging. <laughs> I think we have to see. Look at the packaging. Look at the packaging. <laughs> CD, which out. Everything's so hot as well. Oh gosh. Oh guys. <laughs> you know when you eat so good, I just know I'm gonna sleep. sleep. I'm gonna. I'm going to nap after this. We're gonna explain everything that we've got. Guys, this looks so, so good. good. Okay, let's explain, explain everything, everything that we have. have. I can't believe this. <laughs> I actually can't believe it. It looks so, so good. like. Like, you see when you go to Casper's and it doesn't look the way like this looks. Okay, first up, I'll put some close ups on the screen, guys, because you guys can see this in HD. So, this is a strawberry daydream waffle. So it's a thick waffle with strawberries, milk chocolate, white chocolate. Yeah. We had the choice to pick what ice cream, cream we wanted. Yeah. So, this is vanilla ice cream that I think will go perfectly with strawberry daydream. And then I have the lo the biscoffy the biscoffy bite waffle. Yeah. So it's lotus biscuit with caramel and white chocolate sauce, and then and it's like got crushed crushed like lotus biscuits on it. The last thing we have is Oreo infused cookie dough. So it's not like they have normal cookie dough, but this is like infused with Oreo. So they have like actual Oreo bits within in the, the cookie, cookie dough. dough. So they have lotus biscoff, Aero mint, and Kinder Bueno and Ferrero shake, so it's infused it's within, within the cookie dough. And then we have our uh, Maltese and, and Flake fusion milkshake. milkshake. So we're gonna try that. It looks so good. I have the caramel, salted caramel, caramel ice cream, cream. Oreo yeah. scoop ice cream, vanilla ice cream. But these two are gelatos, so they're a bit, you know, a bit more up notch. They're a bit more fancy than your regular ice cream. Okay. No, let's try, let's try the lotus let's one Let's try first. the lotus one first. Okay, do you wanna take a, should I cut a square? Wait, we need to get the ice cream right with it. So this is the salted caramel ice cream. Yeah. Try the ice cream first. Try the ice cream first. <laughs> Does it hit different? <laughs> hmm. That's gonna complement that so nicely. Hmm. Okay, 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 okay. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on, there's no time, there's no time. It's subtle. Like it's not overpowering mm -hmm. or like sickly. Mm -hmm. You know when there's silence, you just know. <laughs> Why is this so good? This mm. is so good. Mm. I think I thought that this would be too sickly. Yeah, because you know lotus is quite cinnamony and stuff like that, but this is good. Good. That's this is good. actually 10 out of 10. Mm -hmm. We're going to be breaking the bank. I know. What do you think about? We need to be careful. This, this is a dangerous game. game. <laughs> this is a dangerous game. They have an Oreo one, Ferrero Rocher one, mm -hmm. Kinder Bueno. It's got the crunchy biscuit on the top. Yeah. Wow. 
Mm, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, this is good. Mm -hmm. Let's try. You need to share. You need to share. Okay, okay, okay. Let's cut a bit. Of the strawberry, strawberry daydream. It just hits different. It, it, this so is good. This is giving what it needs to give. It's giving what it's giving. This is gonna be our local place. We're not going anywhere else. No, nope. I already know it. We try the vanilla. Let's try the ice cream. Jessica loves vanilla it's, ice cream. It's light. <laughs> it's just light. I could drink it. <laughs> you don't agree. You agree. Cheers. Mm. The strawberry tastes mm. fresh. Mm. And also, guys, as you know, that like, we have no allergies, so they were really yeah. like sweet, and they really like made sure there was no contamination and things like that. So they're like light. They don't feel like difficult to eat. When you mm. can't get through one, but like, mm. I can get through this. That just tastes different. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> guys, ten out of ten. That was another yeah, ten, ten, ten out of ten. Now we're gonna try the milk. It's the Maltese. Maltese and flake fusion. Mm. It's good. Like it's drinkable, do you get what I mean? You can keep drinking, like it's not <laughs> difficult to drink. Okay, okay, okay. We're gonna, we're gonna calculate the sips. <laughs> so how many sips have I had? We've had three, I've had three. Let's leave can it Can we do one more, one more, one more? Beautiful. That's a really good milkshake. You can taste the flake, you can taste the Maltese. This is actually, well everything is good. Overpowering though, it's like yeah. a good taste of everything. It is exciting. Because because but we like, I like, I really like Oreo. Jessica likes cookie dough as well. Mm. Yeah. Any Casper's creams, it's just like, they just put some mm. Oreo on top yeah. and that's it. But the fact that they put Oreo within in the, the cookie dough. dough. Uh, comment down if you guys know a place where they've done this. I don't think you can, I don't <laughs> think you can comment one. <laughs> and then we have Oreo mm. ice cream mm. to go with it. I'm gonna try it first. It's hmm? it's a good. The taste is there. <laughs> and the chocolate, the Oreo. This is good. Can and I you can tell that? it's a good cookie as well. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's a good cookie as well in itself. Mm -hmm. it? <laughs> we'll give our final thoughts at the end, but right now this is so good. So we're just gonna sit, we're gonna eat, we're gonna talk about a few topics. But, um, this dessert shop is in San Diego, so it's so close to uni. It mm -hmm. has, they do um, Uber Eats and delivery, so they can deliver to wherever you are. 15% student discount, so guys, Chabola Desserts is where it's at. And I can't wait for them to get like seating, mm. you know, inside the shop, and then in the summertime, or just be in there, take your laptop, pretend you're doing work, or you know you're really <laughs> not. <laughs> After a night out, yeah. you'll be in Chabola Desserts. Mm -hmm. That's where you'll find us. <laughs> That's where you'll find us. <laughs> what are we talking about today? Oh, this is no, this the food has thrown me off, it's been too good. <laughs> I forgot that we're actually filming a mukbang that we need to talk. <laughs> the first topic that we wrote down was that the last time we did a mukbang, like we sat in this uni kitchen, was week, week five. Six. No, week, week five or six of like the first, first semester. semester. And now it's week nine of semester three. three. There's literally three weeks left of teaching. Of teaching. Two weeks of revision. And then we have exams. And then summertime. <laughs> It's so nice to have an array as well. Yeah. You get different flavors. How are you feeling about exams? I feel like it's harder to focus and revise for exams when like the sun is out and like summer's coming. Yeah. You just want to have fun. And you're able to go out that like, you're not really thinking about exams as well. Mm -hmm. But we booked some pop gardens. gardens. We've been to one already. We went to the physician in Harborn and that was really nice. Like they had like tents and like fairy lights mm -hmm. and things like that. And it wasn't too cold as well. We booked some other places as well. You know, you're slug and let in. We're gonna be going, but we need to be careful because we still need to pay rent. <laughs> So we cannot be splashing our cash too much. <laughs> I can't talk because I just want to eat. I just want to eat. Yeah, so hopefully we'll see you guys maybe in a pub <laughs> garden. If you actually see us out, come up to us if and you watch our videos, if anything. That would be so sweet to meet you guys. We have a vlog coming up, but we're going to be going to a few pub gardens. So make sure you guys, that will probably be up after this. So make sure you guys check out that video when it comes out. Hey, look, do you have any summer plans? What are you doing? What are you doing without me? <laughs> I'm not doing anything without me. I can't escape you. Um, <laughs> The only thing I think about is wireless. Yeah. But that's like September. Like, I'm free. I think it's because we're free. I'm 19 years old, old and mm. I'm in Birmingham and I'm free. Like, what am I gonna do? That's another club. <laughs> that's another club. <laughs> you don't plan, you won't end up going anywhere. Mm. Mm. I feel like we, because we've been sitting at home for so long, that the idea of planning it takes a lot more now. Mm -hmm. But if you don't plan, you're not going anywhere. So yeah. we need to plan. Mm -hmm. That's time we'll go to a club. Yeah. Will be when we're like nearly 20. Mm -hmm. 
That's mm-hmm. shameful, isn't it? <laughs> like, I have quite like I feel like I have a bit of anxiety about dancing again in front of other people <laughs> like casually. They don't think anyone's gonna be watching you like that. We don't have to dance in a club like casually. Yeah, but I feel like I might have lost my moves. Mm-hmm. Also, see, I've also seen a lot on TikTok that people from Birmingham they've been going to Digbeth like for the fun fair. Oh, and it just reminded me you what? won't ca- you if you go to Digbeth and you go to that fun fair you won't see us there. <laughs> Me and Jessica, yes, we just don't we do rhyme. Right. And I hate the fact that people get us so for not liking rides. rides. It's a normal thing. Like, and I have a logical reason for not liking yeah. rides. It we went to one, like one fun fair, not a theme park. It wasn't even Thought park. park. It wasn't Thought Park. I'm not going there. But <laughs> <laughs> there was school trips in school to this Thought Park. Do you think we went? No, no we stayed at school. We said because I knew that we were like, oh, Jessica, Jessica, why are you coming? We're like. We don't do roller coasters. I just knew that if I went with my friends, I would be forced onto something that I didn't like. And my friend birthday, she wanted to go. So we, so we went go. on one that was just like a normal one because we handled that. Mm-hmm. Like it didn't go upside down or anything. It was just like round in a circle. So then they went on this one and I said, I'm not going on it. So we held their coats. Yeah, we were those people. So they came off it and they were like, it was actually fine. No, please, please, please. It was actually fine. Please, come on it, come on it. So we were like, you know what? Fine, we'll go on it. So there wasn't even anyone else on the ride, by the way. It was Which literally one? just the four of us. The moment he puts it down, Kara, one of our friends, she looks at us and goes, oh guys, by the way, this one's a bit much. So just hold on. I could have killed her right there and then. <laughs> How can when the man put it on me, she wants to go, uh, this is actually she a, was bit a bit much. much. Embarrassment left me. I didn't care that the people, wa- the bunch uh, of people, people standing there watching laugh, yeah. like they were laughing at us. I didn't care because I was so scared. <laughs> I didn't care that I was embarrassing myself. Like, we were being oh, hit yeah. in the seats every single time yeah. we went because yeah. we were small. Like we could not handle it. And at one point, the man had to stop the ride because <laughs> just <laughs> the man stopped the ride because just to ask if I was okay. okay because her face was probably like this. Like I was hoping, I, I was. I will never, ever, ever go on that ride again. Couples going on dates to the like roller coasters and stuff like that, I don't mm-hmm. understand. Mm-hmm. So you wouldn't want to go out with me after we do that. So I just think we'll never, ever go there because you'll see me in a light that like, you don't want to see me in. I want to talk about a news story. She wants to talk about something she heard in the news. The UFO. Oh my gosh. Anything thing. like this I don't like talking about because I just don't have an opinion because I just can't think yeah, about it. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, spotted a UFO and okay. it was confirmed. Okay, who confirmed it? The US. <laughs> what, what was the marking criteria? What was the rubric? What I was thinking about when I was going to sleep The concept of aliens Like in cartoons How they depict an alien yeah. Someone would have had to think of that And well, seen, that, it, seen and it To know that that's awesome. what an alien is like and Do you not understand like, the, the fact that it could be possible? <laughs> do you get what I mean? That's what I'm trying to say I don't care Let them come through the door Then we'll address it But at this point Okay No oh, then, But it's not like that What we meant to do? What were we meant to do? We'll cross that bridge when it comes to it We've watching, watching the, the bold type, type. On Netflix, yeah. are these three girls, and they basically work for a, a, like a magazine in America yeah. called um, Scarlet. So it's kind of like cosmopolitan. There was this question in the show. It was just about: Do you think falling in love is fate, or do you think it's free will? Do you choose to fall in love with who you fall in love with, or is it fate? What do you think, Jesse? This is good. What's the good? What's like another good? I don't think. Um, oh yeah. <laughs> I don't think you actively choose to put yourself in a situation where you meet that person. I think you choose to put yourself in a situation, but the person who ends up being in the room, that's fate. But he could have just chosen to go and, go and got a coffee that morning the same way you did. What makes it fate? What actually makes it fate? It's that fate you both because you both chose to, to go and that. get that coffee that morning. People might say you choose to fall in love with you, like you choose it. No, you, you don't. don't. <laughs> I, did, I wouldn't say choose, but I, then I wouldn't say it's fate that I've fallen in love with you. What? Do, how do you feel about being single at UOB? <laughs> Don't ask me those questions. <laughs> I think I have friends, so I'm not really feeling the hurt of it. Yeah. Coming here, mm-hmm. I noticed more than ever that how many couples there really are. Like when you, what, It was in the first two weeks where people were walking around. Mm-hmm. I was like, oh my gosh, everyone's holding hands. Like <laughs> everyone is in a couple. Hotel. First date hotel. hotel. The team yeah. version. Mm-hmm. I would apply. Jess was saying no, I would apply. I because the nation best. are going to laugh at me. They laugh at you more on Love Island, I'm telling you. They laugh at you more on Love Island. I just think it's more like, no. it's more like you have to live there and they see you every single day and they like build a connection with your character. It's just like mm-hmm. they see the one hour of you on a date and then that's it. Like it's just a lot better because if I, if we both went on Love Island and yeah. I left, I got eliminated or whatever, or dumped from yeah. the island. Would you leave with me if you were dumped from the island? Mm-hmm. No. You wouldn't. Would you cry? <laughs> I think. Would you cry? I think I'd miss you. 
I don't think I'd leave because what's the point in both of us leaving? It's not gonna help anything. <laughs> no, but I should still, I do think the other person should still enjoy the experience. Mm. The only thing I'd be worried about is that fact that I have no contact with you whatsoever. Mm. Mm. I think if at least I got to text you mm. at least once a night, I'd be. I could be doing something silly, like on national TV, but you wouldn't be there to tell me. And I know you'd be at home screaming, you should have done this. Yeah. Why did you do that? Yeah. And I'd want you, I want to know. I feel like you just get bored. I would. You wouldn't want to talk to the other people. I don't really want to be here. <laughs> you and I were thinking about this earlier. You see when like, there's a meme. Like we were laughing at like the African memes, like the one that's like, where he's like a pastor. He's live on TV and he was like, <laughs> you go to heaven and you don't see me there, then you are in hell. Write this down. You get to heaven and you don't find me there. You have gone to hell. I can't believe he said that on TV. TV. Like, who says that? I was deeping. Does he know he's, he's a, a meme? The same with the little girl. The little girl. Waking up in the morning and thinking about so many things. I just wish you would get better. But nothing seems to stay the same. <laughs> Waking up in the morning, thinking about so many things. I just wish things would get better. I'm trying to get rid of them, but nothing seems to stay the same. I remember seeing the scene and it was her parents consoling her I while she was singing her heart, her heart out. out. And now we're all sitting here laughing at her. And I think her parents. <laughs> Do her parents know? <laughs> This is the internet. When she was waking up in the morning thinking about so many things, yeah, she wished things could get better and we're laughing at her. I could be a meme one day. Like that video was like ages ago, years ago. If someone could resurface one of our YouTube videos, something you said, and yeah. it could be a meme. It could be a meme. Uh, yeah, basically there was a TikTok that was talking about where the, where the girl did say like, what are the what are red flags? Mm-hmm. Red flags is what? And guys, okay. And they would have the notes page, and then they'd be a green screen, and then they'd be talking about the red flags. And then one of them said, "I found this so weird when the guy has so like so many Instagram followers. Like they said, someone's had more than two hundred. I thought he knows more than two hundred people in real life, but they don't want them to be bait, or they don't like the fact that people follow them, or they take social media seriously. I think that's yeah, that's what I was gonna say. So if you don't post, like, like when a guy is like." serious about like social media yeah girl went on a date like a first date with a guy mm -hmm. and he was like can you take a picture of me so i could put it on my instagram <laughs> and she didn't like that like when you when they take instagram too seriously mm -hmm. some people don't like they find that unattractive like they think it's weird i was deeping sitting here we're filming a video we're eating nice food yeah. you know everything after this what am i gonna do this is the most exciting part of a day isn't yeah. it? <laughs> I did i did some of my lecture video mm -hmm. i had a zoom Mm -hmm. Where my mic wasn't working, <laughs> and then she kept saying, "It was so embarrassing." A personal tutor, she kept saying, "You need to go. And, you need to go to the IT desk." <laughs> oh, my laptop is fine. It's just that like, my sound wasn't working. Like she couldn't hear me. It speak. was so funny because obviously I was in the same Zoom. It was silent, and it, you just hear your mouth. You just see your mouth moving, being like, "Can, can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now?" <laughs> Everyone is like, "No, no." <laughs> You just look so lost, it was funny. <laughs> We're gonna be regulars. I know. We're gonna be regulars. I know, I need to keep up with the skipping. <laughs> <laughs> for your health. <laughs> Maybe we'll do like a flat thing. Yeah, I know, I'm gonna force them to try it. We'll save this for them. Yeah. We'll do like a couple things. Mm. And then split it. The thing about child by the dessert is that obviously there are international students here at UOB, so they also offer a Chinese menu. It helps international students, which I think is really good. I definitely want to try the Oreo waffle. And they do half waffles. Yeah, so, so you just when you're not like feeling the full it. thing, you can do yeah, a half one. one. How long do you think an engagement should last? We were talking about this as a flat. I think if you've been like, say you've been together for like five years plus. Yeah. Then I think as long as the wedding needs to be planned. Mm -hmm. But there needs to be a, like you need to set I a date. And I think you need, it needs, it can't be more than like a year. Like especially people who've been together 10 years should be able to get married in two months time yeah but you're saying that like a pl planning a wedding is easy you shouldn't have to wait even longer when you've waited 10 years okay. i think like a good done, year i think a year. two three years yeah a year okay fine but mm. but you think if, you, if you've been together for a short amount of time you should have a longer engagement yeah like if you're especially if you're young like that's actually like the trial period to see are, are you sure i don't think i would want this to be engaged what the hell? What do you mean? <laughs> because you should be sure without the ring if you want to marry someone. No, but things do change. Things do change. With the ring. Like it becomes more real. Some people just put give the ring to oh. shut the girl up. 
advice. I think we should start giving advice on this channel. Yeah. Do you think we're knowledgeable? Yeah. <laughs> I think I think I'm quite rational. I think it's because you haven't experienced much that like you're a bit just because a bit fun. Yeah, we're sleepy now. I was meant to go back to work after this, but I don't think I can. I have to take a nap. <laughs> we saved a segment of the strawberry daydream and the biscoff feed bite. Yes, yeah, the lotus biscuit one. And then we have some of the half, half of the Oreo and these cookie dough left. So we're gonna share the rest of our flat weights because I think they deserve to have some of this. Yeah, because. life has been great. <laughs> this has been great. I really think that if you guys like sweet stuff and like you just like desserts. I definitely think you should go to Charbella Desserts. Because I don't think there's any other like dessert places in Celio. A lot of like hot food places, like fast food, like Domino's, Pizza Hut, around Celio. But, but they're think, not like quality like this. Yeah, I think this is a like this is a good dessert shop that's like, really close by to the other things. So I feel like you guys would actually really like it. So I definitely recommend that you guys check out Charbella Desserts. Yeah. Today was a good day. It was. Today was a good day. Thank <laughs> you guys so much for watching this video. We hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you guys check out Child Bella Desserts in Celio because we think it's really worth it. If you guys are really enjoy it, you guys go to the University of Birmingham and you know yeah. any other like food places that you think that we should try, comment them down below. Mm -hmm. Leave in the description the names of everything that we got from Child Bella Desserts. So if you want to order the same thing, you can. Instagram will be linked in the description if you want to follow us there. So thank you so much for watching. So make sure you guys like, comment and subscribe and we'll see you next week.